Do a little loose, rocky loose hill climb here. Look at how muddy it's gonna be. I know this is a rocky loose climb. See what gear we're in. There we go. Second gear. Whoa. Can't get any traction. We gotta sit down. Get some bite on this tire. Forget how much less traction I get when I'm not running tubeless. This thing is brand new and I haven't installed tubeless on it yet. So I'm running a lot more air than I normally do. Not bad at all. So these fuel injected bikes, both of them, the Husky and the KTM, don't start quite as well as my carbureted bikes. So that that time, of course, it fired right up just because I wanted to show you. But multiple times out here, I've, I've had it. Uh, yesterday and today, I've had it where you crank, crank, crank. Just a little bit harder starting. Um, than the carburetor bikes have been around recently. So maybe that's something that they'll be able to tune out. I hope so. Um, and again, this one, it's got some little dead spot bog that happens every once in a while when I give a fistful of throttle, which is kind of troubling. Only happens a once in a while. Husky didn't do that. So, all things being equal, they should run the same as far as that goes. So maybe this one just needs to run a little more. It's, it's not got much time on it. It's still inside its first hour where the Husky had at least 10 hours. I don't know exactly how much the Husky has because I noticed the hour meter isn't working on that thing. right here. I was hitting on my husky the other day. Three foot rock ledge. Wanted to hit. Yeah! That's intimidating guys. Going up a hill and then you hit a three foot, three and a half foot rock ledge. Did it the other day on the TE. So I figured Gotta hit it on this one. See the snow on the ground here. It is very late December after Christmas. I think it's December 30, 30th today. I'm looking at my watch. Now I've got my idle up too high. I gotta fix that. I was adjusting the idle up. It sounds like I'm engine braking. But I turned the idle up to get it to run the way I wanted it to run with the cold and then see I got the clutch in but it sounds like I'm still running. That's probably my fault. Let's see if I can tune that back out right now with my little screwdriver. That's the other thing is when you hit the when you hit the kill, both on this bike and the husky, there's a little bit of hesitation. You hit the button and it's like a half second later it dies. Watch this. So I get it running and then hit the button. If you just hit it, it won't actually die. See that? But you hit it, hold it and then it dies, about a half second delay. It's kind of weird.